I've made this web page about my pets with a list of their names. When you look at the list, what do you wonder? I've had pets named Black and White, Demon, and Angel, but what kind of pets were they? What color were they? How old are they? I should probably give you more information about the pets in this list to answer your questions. I could do that by making nested lists or, you know, maybe putting information in, in parentheses. So, you know, black and white as a rabbit, demon is a cat, and angel is also a cat. But I don't like this because it doesn't look very organized and I can't just easily skim down and see all the species in one nicely aligned list. This is in fact the perfect opportunity for a table with a row for each pet and columns for each attribute about the pet that I want to share with you. In order to make tables in HTML, we will need a lot of tags, so brace yourself. And don't worry about memorizing all these tags, you can always look them up later. It took me 10 years to memorize all the table tags, and I'm a pro. All right, get ready. The first tag is table, aptly named. Next, we need a header area for the table to hold the labels for each column. So we write T head. Inside that, we typically just want a single row of header cells. Anytime we write a row in the table, we use the TR tag. Inside that row, we want header cells. For a single header cell, we write TH. Okay, what will the first column label be? Maybe pet name, since that's pretty much the most important thing in the row and the identifier for it. Now let's add another column for species. And finally, let's add a column for color. I think that's enough columns for now. Let's add some data. We start off the rows of data with T body underneath our T head. And then once again, we want a row, so we're going to use that TR tag. But inside here, instead of using TH, we'll use TD because we're in the body. So we're going to say TD, which stands for tabular data. And what is the value that goes in this first cell in the first row of data? Well, I'm just going to look up to my list and see that the first thing in my list was black and white. And that's her pet name. So I'll just write black and white. Now the second TD. We can look up and see that our second TH was species, and black and white was a rabbit, so we'll write rabbit. And finally, the third TH. Uh, so we look up and see that that third TH was color, so the corresponding TD. Well, I was not a very creative kid when I named this rabbit, so you can probably guess the colors. <laughs> okay, let's let's do another row. Uh, so I'll show you a little trick is I like to actually, once I've made one row, I select that first row, copy it using a keyboard shortcut, which is usually control C or uh, command C, depending on your operating system. And then I will paste it also using a keyboard shortcut, which is usually control V or command V, depending on your operating system. And now that I've pasted it, I will just go and change the values. So this one will be demon, cat, and black and then we'll do it one more time and this one will be uh, angel cat and orange okay so it just gets really boring actually writing those TRs and TDs over and over so that copy paste trick will make all of that a lot less boring and there we have it a table I could easily add more columns just by adding a, another TH in the head and then TDs in each of the rows if I wanted to share more details about my pets. And you might be wondering how you can change the way this table looks, like changing the borders or colors or spacing. You could do all that with CSS properties, which you may have already learned or you'll learn soon. Now, try spinning off this web page to make a list of your own pets or the pets you wish you had. Tabulate that data.